hello everyone welcome back to my channel once again it's been a long time i'm so happy to be with you in this tutorial today so today's tutorial is going to focus on the off shoulder illusion bustier which you are seeing on the screen right now so to begin this tutorial you can see i've already drafted my basic bodies and in this basic bodies pattern as you can see i have my lines my basic lines i have my shoulder line from which all measurements starts okay so this is the chest line this is the bust point the under bust point and the waist line okay all right so now these are the lines i expect you to have at this point so if you don't know how to draft your basic bodies i'll be dropping the link on the description box below but the focus of this tutorial is to show you how to draft this beautiful illusion bustier on the screen okay with the flay attached to it so now the first thing we want to do now as you can see i have my dart okay the basic that i have here is created at my bust pan measurement okay so the bust pan nipple to nipple measurement divided by two this is the line i have right here and i extended it to the bust point line okay i have 3.5 here and that is exactly what is here. So you come down by 1.5 and draw your dart so the dart i have here is at 0.75 that is three quarter three quarter which is 1.5 for a perfect fit you can also do 0 0.5 0 0.5 okay so but i'm using 0 0.75 and 0 0.75 for this tutorial so having done that the next thing we are going to do right away is to connect divide the shoulder line okay i'll be dividing the shoulder line as you can see right now so i'm getting the midpoint of my shoulder line and i'm going to connect the midpoint to my bust point this is the bust point line as you can see so i connect it right away once i'm done with that the next thing i'm going to do is to create my bust radius so my bust radius as you can see right now i'm going to rotate what i have the as, as the difference from my bust point and my under bust from the bust point line i'll keep rotating I'll keep rotating at 3.5 because that is exactly what I have. So the difference between this line and this line, rotate it all around, okay? I like doing this because it actually shows me where exactly I can place my, uh, uh, my lines so I don't expose the bust, okay? So it's a guide to either exposing your bust or not to expose your bust. So you can see I've made my lines and I think I'm good with what I have at this point. So the next thing I want to do right now is to create the illusion. Okay, so we'll be creating the illusion right away. I'm going to create the illusion right away. And to create this illusion, the first thing I'm going to do is to determine where my illusion is going to stop and where it's going to start. So my illusion is going to stop at one and a half inches from the under bust line. You can also, if you want it to come down a little, you can create it at one inch. It all depends on what you want. Some people even connect directly to the under bust point. Then I will be coming to the chest line, okay, to create my, my illusion, where my illusion is going to start. So I might decide to come up by one inch, okay, so I don't expose the bust so much. So what I did is from the under bust, I marked 1.5. From here to here, I marked 1.5 inches. And from the chest line, I came up by one inch. What am I doing here? I'm trying to create my illusion. So on this line, I'm going to extend this line right now because that is the illusion line I want to create. 
and I'm going to create my illusion at 1.5 so when I open up the illusion I'll be having um, I'll be having three inches okay so if you want it wider than three inches you can do two inches here from here to here you measure two inches and connect back so I would love to do 1.5 okay so what I have right here on this dotted line is the illusion line which you are seeing on that dress can you see all right so now i'm done with the illusion the next thing i want to do is to create the neckline so i'll be creating the neckline right now so i'll be able to contour my upper bust line and my under bust line all right so to create the neckline right now this neckline you are seeing is a cut together neckline we are going to cut everything together so what I mean is the sleeve of shoulder right now is going to be extended. It's, it will continue outside the armhole. So to achieve that effectively, I'll be coming down by 2 inches from my shoulder drop. Can you see? From the shoulder drop, I'll make a mark at 2 inches. Okay? And at that 2 inches, I made my mark. I'm going to connect with my curve ruler to that point okay so you might also decide to come down a little because i see that shoulder dropping you know more than the amount we, we are taking okay so i can do two and a half you can also do three it depends on how off you want that shoulder to be so let's do two and a half and I'm connecting my two and a half right now, as you can see. I'm connecting it from the illusion line to the two and a half line I just made now. You can see that. So this two and a half line, I'm taking it out. From this point, I'm going to take the measurement of sleeve of the sleeve. So to achieve the measurement of the sleeve from this point right now, what I'm going to do is to use my round shoulder measurement. This is your round shoulder measurement, which you take exactly at where you want your shoulder to be off. So at this point of my round, uh, round off shoulder, I'm making use of 42 inches for it. Okay, so if I'm making use of 42 inches for it, my shoulder here is uh, is um, 15 inches divided by 2 is 7.5. So what I have here is my shoulder divided by 2, which is 7.5 7 as you can see. So this 7.5 right now is for a quarter, a quarter. This is a quarter of the bodies I'm working on. So 7.5 now, because I'm working a, on a quarter, for the full bodies, I'll be timesing it by 4. If I times it by 4, I will have 30 inches. I believe you understand what I'm trying to explain. So now, the round shoulder is 42. All you are going to do is to take away 42 from 30, and the remaining is 12 inches. So 12 inches is the sleeve, because the bodies with the shoulder has taken 30 inches already. So 12 inches is for the sleeve, for both the sleeve. And this, from this point to this point is for a quarter of the sleeve. So I'm going to divide 12 again by 4. And if I do that, I'll be having 3 inches. Okay? So make sure you impute your own round shoulder, your own shoulder measurement times by 4. Whatever you have as your round shoulder, take away your shoulder Whatever you have, divide by 4, and that will be the extension of your sleeve at this point. So from this point right now, I'm extending my sleeve. You can see where I'm making the sleeve extension. From this point, I'm taking 3 inches. So I'll extend it to 3 inches. So at these 3 inches right now, so mates, I'm going to square my line. To square my line, I have a protractor in my, in my pattern ruler. So if you actually know how to use your protractor to get your angle 90 degrees, this is my angle 90 degrees, as you can see me pointing that. So with my protractor, I square this line with my angle 90 degrees. So if you look at this, 
what I have here is 90 degrees okay so that is what you expected to have at that point for a perfect fit so now having done this the next thing i want to do now is to take the width measurement of my of the off shoulder so for the off shoulder i'll be making use of um, two inches right here it depends on you you can do 2.3 you can do uh, 2.5 you can do three inches but for the purpose of this tutorial, I'll be doing 2 inches at that point. And at that point of 2 inches, I'm going to take this line to match up with this line once again. Okay? Alright, so having matched up, the next thing I want to do now is to connect this line back. I'm connecting my line back to the, the armhole okay so i'll just connect it back to the armhole so i'll just make an extension to from that point to this point i'll keep extending to this point so i'll be able to create back my armhole line okay so if you are creating your armhole line please keep it slanted you can see how slanted i keep i kept it because this is an off shoulder armhole so it doesn't really need to curve in okay that much all right people so that is it for it so we have created our neckline we have created our armhole and our we've also created our off shoulder so the next thing we want to do is to start contouring we need to contour what we have here but so for a perfect contouring are uh, the under busts okay okay before the under bust i will be taking my bust measurement divided by four this is the bust measurement i have 40 divided by four you can see my mark here at 10 inches and my waist divided by four you can see my mark here at nine inches for waist divided by four so the first thing i do right away is to connect my bust circumference divided by four to my waist circumference divide my by four so coming over to the under bust for a perfect under bust contouring uh you have to measure make sure your client wears a firm bra and also ensure you take the under bust measurement very firmly the under bust measurement has to be very firm so the under bust measurement i'm using here is 35 divide by 4 is 8 3 quarter so this is what i'm going to do right now all right beautiful people so before we contour the under bust, please you need to replace your dart okay so the dart i'm using here is 1.5 and i'm going to replace the 1.5 dart okay so if you are using one inch here please replace it in here so once i replace it make sure you replace it so you can contour your under bust very appropriately i return it back to the bust line so what we have in here is the replacement of this dart as you can see okay so now it's time to contour the under bust like i earlier said so under bust measurement circumference which is taken very firmly divide by four you place your tape on the center front this is scf center front line divide by four i have eight three quarter this is my eight three quarter i mark i make a mark from this mark to this point i have my bodies replaced i will take what i have right here so here i have 1.25 so at this 1.25 please on the part of the center front you have to add from the outer that leg 0 0.25 and the remaining you add one inch okay i have 1.25 i've taken to 0 0.25 which is a quarter and the remaining one inch from the outer that leg i place it here so even if you have two inches place 0 0.25 add and replace one one three quarter on this part okay that will give you a perfect under bust snatching okay so it's time for us to connect what we've just done right here 
so to connect it this is what i do first i will connect what i have with my straight ruler on the 0 0.25 to the dark leg i'll connect the remaining one inch to the dark leg as you can see so once that is done i'll bring in my pattern ruler make sure you connect your boss point where your dart started and where your under boss snatching started can you see and you flip it over like this and connect your bust point make sure you have this on the bust point it must be at the bust point because the bust pan measurement does not need to be tampered with can you see so even if it does not touch this point this part does not touch it does not matter what matters is it touches on the bust point and touches where the under bust snatching started so right now we've created or snatched Ah, we have tightened the under bust and with this you have a perfect bust tee. so now coming over to the upper part of this dress i'm going to go in from this line by 0 0.75 i'm making use of 0 0.75 and i'm coming out by 0 0.75 so all together i'm taking 1.5 for the upper bust that so i'm going to place the upper bust that like this to the bust point and i'll flip to this point to the bust point as well okay all right people so that is exactly what we need for this particular dress okay all right so i'm going to cut off right away so we'll so we'll be able to cut out the sleeve okay we'll be creating the sleeve because the sleeve is 182 steps which will be attached on this armhole this is the new armhole where we are going to attach the sleeve so I'll, I'll quickly cut out this right now and we'll be matching up this part to this part to see if there's anywhere we have shortage on the upper, upper bust tightening so before we do that, we need to create our bust that, okay? Please don't forget your bust that. The bust that is the difference between your front length and your back length. So measuring your front length on the waistline, that is your front length. At the back, you have your back length. So I'll be dropping the link on how to draft a basic body because you need to know how to draft your basic bodies perfectly to follow up with this tutorial. So for the bust that right now, from the bust point line on the, on the outer line, I'll come down by 2 inches because the difference I have is 2 inches. Divide it by 2. So I have from here 1 inch from here, 1 inch. So this 1 inch now, I'll connect it to the bust point. I'll come out on this line and extend it by 0 0.5 or 0 0.75 connect it to accommodate my dart can you see so this is what i'm going to use to accommodate my dart okay so now we are done we are going to close up the bust that cut off the waist that and replace the uh, come up a little to replace because we'll be having a shortage right here so let me all right people so remember that what we have here is going to be cut on fold okay both our illusion will be cut on fold so i have my fold sign for them the bodies here will also be cut on fold so when cutting this on your pattern make sure you cut on fold and for the back piece of this dress so mate exactly what i came down with that is what you are going to come down is the same thing for the back the same thing we did here that is what you are going to do for your back bodies the only difference is that your back bodies has no under bust and upper bust contouring but exactly what we did here you will be having your zipper at this point you determine how deep you want the back to be okay so you connect it exactly the way it's being connected here okay so it's actually simple all right so now i'll just cut out my pattern 
okay so we move over to the sleeve okay so the sleeve cutting right now i'll be showing you how you can go about the sleeve is actually 180 sleeve cutting and um, it's two uh, is two flares that is two step flay okay you can also make it three step flay so it depends on what you actually want to achieve at that point okay so i'm cutting through my illusion and i'm cutting through the neck line okay all right so that is what you have now as your pattern and i'm going to separate the bust contour lines okay so this is f1 i call this f1 having the illusion and the illusion i'm going to cut the illusion this illusion will be cut on a mesh and will be attached back okay so we'll have it attached back to the bodies okay so then for this i'll just cut through my bust line as you can see and i'm taking it through the under bust line and i'll just cut off can you see so now i'll be able to close up my bust that so i will apply my adhesive right here and close up my bust that so you can see the bust accommodation is matching up accordingly so now if i close up my bust that with my adhesive this is what i expect you to have on this pattern so what i was trying to explain is that we need to fill in this pattern can you see we need to actually fill in this pattern because the f1 and f2 this is f2 you can see the bust point line is matching with the chest line so at the point they are matching try and fuse it together and see the shortage you can see the shortage so i've put a paper right now and blend this line back into this line let me quickly do that let me close my bust that okay so i'll just apply my adhesive right here and close up my was that as you can see okay so i've closed it up so now i'm going to match up what i have right here to this point and i'll add my pepper so i'm adding my piece of pepper to match my lines up before i separate them so i'm going to match up these lines as you can see right here Okay, so the most important thing is that it matches on the chest line. Okay, it matches on the chest line. So at that point, this is the shortage I have. And I'm going to blend back that shortage. I'm blending it back the way I connected my line. Can you see? So I'm blending it back from this line. I'll put it back to this line so you can see i actually blended that point appropriately so the next thing i'll do is to extend this line can you see that is it okay because when we are sewing this dress this is what you are expected to have as your shortage so i will just separate them once again can you see so I'm separating them once again and I'll cut through this line okay can you see all right so that is the shortage that we have replaced right now okay okay so i can just cut out what i have here okay so for this part remains 
I'll cut off this because that is the filling of the darts. You don't need it. All right, people. So this is what you expected to have plus your illusion for that dress. So this illusion will be sewn back. Can you see why this will go over to this point? You can see the dress is already coming out. So once you sew it, this is what you are going to have at this point. Your illusion into the, uh, the sleeve line. So the next thing we want to do now is to cut the, the circumference of the, of the flay. Okay? The radius of the flay, sorry. So for the radius of the flay, I'm going to take the measurement of what I have here. From here, I'll put in my tape. I'll bring it back on this line and bring it out. Can you see? So here I have eight and a half. So this eight and a half I have right here. I'm going to multiply it by two. Okay, 8.5 times 2 will give us six, uh, 17 inches. So the armhole at which we are going to sew in this sleeve it has, is at 17 inches. So you have to measure your armhole to know where to sew the flame. So the radius of our flame is, we are going to use 17 inches to calculate it. So these 17 inches we have here, I'm going to add plus one one inch is for stitching allowance we'll be using 0 0.5 to sew the sleeve okay that is to stitch the size of the 180 degree sleeve so here in i have 18 inches so because we are cutting a 180 degrees we'll be using 3.14 for this calculation so i will be doing 18 divided by that is the round circumference where we are going to attach the sleeve, divide by 3.14. Divide by 3.14 will give us 5.7. Okay, so this 5.7 is serving as the radius for this particular flay. So the length of our flay, the length of this flay for the first one, the first length I'll be using 4.5. And the second length of the flay, which is the one that will be on top, I'll be using 2.5 inches, okay? So like I said, it's a two-step flay. The first flay will be at 4.5 and the second will be at 2.5. And both of these flays, we are going to cut them using the radius of 5.7 because we are going to attach it right into our armhole line. So to cut that right now, I'll be using, bringing in my pattern paper to serve as my fabric, okay? So this is my pattern paper, which is going to serve as my fabric right now. So this pattern paper you see here, you can see I, I placed it on fold. Can you see? I just placed it on fold. Okay, just on one single fold. So that is what I expect you to do on your fabric for your 180 degrees cutting. So once it's placed on fold like this, from this point we'll be measuring the radius. Okay, so we'll be taking the radius. So make sure your fabric matches up your fabric has to match up with what we have here okay all right so now i'm going to measure my radius first my radius which i'm cutting i'm cutting the radius of of uh, 5.7 okay so i'll just make it 5.7 uh, 7.5 5.75 5.75 that is 5 3 quarter 5 3 quarter so this is my radius which I'm going to cut for this 180 can you see so this part is the folded part and this part is the open part so now the length of my 
flaced leaf the first one i'm going to cut at 4.5 you can do 5 inches if you want but for the purpose of this tutorial i will just do 4.5 4.5 you can see how i'm measuring it on the radius okay the length is being measured on the radius and once i measure it i will connect the lines like this so this is the first flay okay this is the first flay flay number one so this first flay i'm going to cut it out right away okay so I will, what I'm cutting here is only for one sleeve. It's only for one part of my sleeve, as you can see. Okay, then I'll just cut so I've cut my first flay okay so this particular first flay right now this is the center of it it will be sewn into this line like this you can see that so once you sew it it will flay up like this into this line can you see so you can see the first flay has been attached okay why this part will come on at the back like this i believe you understand this so this is the first flay which is half a circle you can see it's half a circle so the second flay i'm going to cut it using this same method this time i'll be using this part to cut the second flay okay so my second flake now, I'm going to use the same radius I used, which is 5.75. I'll keep rotating 5.75, 5.75, like that. Okay, so whatever your radius is calculated, please, that is what you are going to use now the width of my flay is 2.5 for the smaller step flay 2.5 the one that will be on top is going to be at 2.5 so i'm going to connect my 2.5 as you can see so i call this flay number two so if you need the third flay it depends on you to choose your appropriate play length for your play steps. So now I'm going to cut off now. Okay, I've cut off the radius and I'm cutting the play length. Okay. All right, so now I'm done. And this is what you expect for your beautiful illusion bustier. Okay, so this is what I expect you to have as your pattern for the front. So this F2 will be cut two times while this one will be cut on fold. As you can see the fold sign together with the illusion. So this is a play, play number one and play number two. You can see them. So once you want to sew this, attach the both together. Run your straight stitch, your stitches on the curve line to attach your play. Okay. So once they are attached as one piece, you will find the midpoint and attach the mid points okay so this play will be attached like i earlier demonstrated on the armhole okay so it will be attached on the armhole like this okay 
so people that is how we come to the end of this tutorial so i believe you actually understood what is being explained in this particular uh, tutorial okay so if you are new to this channel please kindly subscribe turn on your notification bell to receive more videos like this each week like this video and share to family and friends as well okay so we also have our telegram classes which are so super super loaded okay so you can join our whatsapp group i'll be dropping the link on the description box below so you can have your online classes for your upgrade so thank you for coming once again and have a nice day bye